I'm Hugo. I'm uh, a yoga teacher here in Zigen and also a researcher at the University in Physics. And I'm from France. I started because I had back problems. So I was, I was first doing just stretching. And then in festivals I started doing yoga because I saw classes there. And I really enjoyed it, so I kept going afterwards. I want the classes to be open to as many people as possible, so that's why I make them on donations. And the extra money I get, so I'm going to give it to charities. So I went one month in India between my PhD and, uh, and my research job in Zigan. I just, I'm just finishing my project now. And after that, I'll be going back to India and stay in a, an ashram to do like a more traditional practice. And the place where I want to go, it's a four months training. You can't leave the place when you, when you get there. You don't have hot water, you don't have electricity, you leave your phone at the entrance, everyone is wearing the same dress, you can't talk between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. So it's uh, more of a kind of a monastery, <laughs> in a way. And I'm really curious about that, like going much deeper. And it's also less about the physical practice and, and more about the self-service the community, I think. Music plays an important role. It can help to, to keep a constant rhythm. If you're following a bit, for example, it can help yourself to synchronize your breath. And, and what I do as, at the end, as you see, is I'm using this Tibetan bowl because the sound is really nice and it really gives a nice feeling, I think, when you're just relaxing on the floor with this uh, uniform sound. You often have people falling asleep in the relaxation dress. And it's always a bit difficult because they're sleeping, you don't want to wake them up. But at some point they have to leave because usually they fall asleep just at the end when we're just relaxing on the floor. So I'm trying to talk a bit louder, <laughs> make music a bit closer or something. <laughs> but usually, eventually they wake up when we sing home at the end. I like to try new stuff, even though they're not so appealing at the start. I like to experiment everything once see from there and also try to always evolve not stay at the same point and trying to always to looking for improvements and that's that's actually a part of the philosophy of yoga 